everybody. Welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. I'm Rich. And I'm Kate. And today we are riding because we're going to answer the Motorcycle Quarantine 10 Question Challenge given to us by Harley Dyna Rides up there in Canada. So we're going to get started right now. The first question is, how many rows of toilet paper do you have at the moment? How many rows of toilet paper do you have at the moment? How many toilet papers we have at the moment? Two. 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 Six rows of toilet paper at the moment. Question number two. What is the biggest change since the lockdown? Go ahead, Kate. There really isn't a big change since the lockdown. I mean, the big change is we can't go on our road trip. Yeah, for us, it really too much has changed yeah. because we actually stay home most of the time anyway because we run our business from our house. So that's question number two. Like question number three. What are our future plans and how has it has the lockdown changed them? What are our future plans and how has the lockdown changed them? Okay, question number three is what are your future plans and how has the lockdown affected them? Well, we were going on a major, major cross, I like to say cross country, on USA tour. But we was actually starting, I'm going to show you right here, we're starting from California. We live up here in Northern California, but we had to go all the way down to Santa Barbara and then ride, not Santa Barbara, Santa, Santa Monica, Monica, and ride Route 66 all the way across all these states and end up in Chicago. From Chicago, we were actually going all the way up, hang out in Niagara Falls for a while, then come all the way hang out here, then come all the way down to Lake George, New York for the big Americade rally that we really, really want to go to. Woo. And after that, we was heading out to Maine, to Arcadia National Park, and spent four days there. And then we was riding out, transversing throughout the country, hitting all these states, and ended up at Key West Ooh. for two days. Key West. <laughs> for ah. two days. From Key West, back up, stopping in our hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana. From New Orleans, transversing all the way out to Springfield, Missouri, where we would, would have made it there on the 4th of July weekend. So from 11 of May, which our, was our departure date, to the 4th of July weekend here. Then from here, we were going, I know I had to go to Nebraska to get my steak. And then we- Him and the steak. And then we were traveling all the way, all the way up here, coming back across Minnesota, coming down, stopping in Sioux Falls going all the way out to Mount Rushmore area, spent a couple of days there. By the big head people. And then from there, we were coming back down to spend some time in Texas with our family. We got a brother and sister live in Texas and a couple of friends in Texas also. Then back across, all the way up through Colorado, through this area, coming around here, spending some time in this area, then going straight up here, spending some time here, and ending up here August 8th for a wedding. After that wedding, we were headed, well, Kate wanted to, so I agreed, headed all the way back to Memphis, Tennessee for a meet up with some other people doing a little small rally. And then from Memphis, back home to California. Yeah, so we're going to be out like 90 to 115 days and it's going to be around like 25,000 miles. Of course, we yes. had oil changes and tire changes planned, set, ready to go. So that's what we have. But we do have a backup plan that we hope we can implement in August. Can't tell you about that yet. Question number four is, what have you gone without? What have we gone without lately since the lockdown? Nothing really, because our lovely daughters keep us up to par and set on what the things that we need. Yeah, we have a full house, so. We need anything, they normally go out shopping for us and keep our house plenished with what we want. So we really have nothing that that we need it for. Question, the next question. What are we most grateful for? What are you most grateful for? Same thing, our lovely daughters and this man right here. Yes, my answer is basically grateful for my wife, 
Still loving me. Nah. <laughs> what? <laughs> and our friends and family. And I'm, I'm, I'm thankful and grateful that we haven't had anyone that we know that has been affected, have gotten sick or perished from this terrible virus. So we're grateful for our health. Yes. Next question is, what do you miss the most? What do you miss the most? I miss family, friends the most, being able to be with them and hug them and, you know, right. and, and ride into different states to see them. Right. Yeah, I miss being out on the road. And even though we ride a lot, being on the road, what I'm speaking of is riding throughout the country, seeing the country. And just like Cake said, missing friends and family and being able to actually hang out with them. Okay, the next question <laughs> is, how long has it been since you've been on a ride? Really? Really? Well, for us, the quarantine, just like the lockdown, like anything else, uh, we was able to ride almost at least eight every day. It's not really regulated to motorcycles here. Well, if it is, nobody told us. <laughs> we missed that memo. So we ride every day. I mean, shoot, we out on a ride now answering the questions. Even though things have been lifted a little bit, so a lot of bikers are all riding. Okay, on to the next question. Number eight is what's our favorite quarantine food what's ever in this refrigerator is our favorite quarantine food yeah all right question number nine what modification have we planned or been dreaming of basically how the quarantine affected our mods on our bike well for me Kind of goes in hand in hand with our tour throughout the United States. It is when we was going to Wingding, I was going to get a new windscreen, either Clockworks or F4. I mean, F4 Customs. I'm not sure which one, depending on who was there and which one I liked the most. It would suit me the most. And the other modification I was going to get were the real, more real lights, Snake in a Row. No, it's not. More real lights and lights on the saddlebags like Cake has on her bike. That's my modification, only two. My modification was I'm putting, I'm getting them still going to do them to put the fog lights on the bottom of my bike like Rich has. So and that, that's basically it. Okay, you know, yeah. I'm on a gold wing, so not much modification. Yeah, we didn't have too many modifications we're gonna do. And the last and final question is who are we challenging next? Well, I personally got two. I wanna challenge Tony Reno with two wheel for fun, living in Sicily. And I'm challenging him because when he do rides, man, he just makes me want to go to Sicily. And also we have a plan to ride out there because of Tony Reno. So Tony Reno is the first one. And my second one is out there in New York, GB winging it, right turn coming up. GB winging it and precious cargo in New York. You're up next for the challenge, riding that beautiful go wing DCT. That's the only two I have for right now. Yeah, and precious cargo, I'm waiting to see that new bike too. <laughs> the bike in the new bike. Look good. Yeah, she looks good sitting on that Indian. Come on, All precious. Right. All right, now. Who are you challenging? And I'm going to challenge some Colorado folks out here. Where? Some Colorado folks. Homebees. Oh, yeah. Some homebees. Homebees. We, we, Same name. We know you guys just done your seven question challenge a week ago or two weeks ago. I don't remember when it was. So, now it's time for the 10 question challenge on bees. And that's it for now. Yes, that's it. All right, everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the questions and the answers. If you're out riding, 
in our area. Look us up. Look us up. And remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, and most importantly, ride safe. I'm Brett from Boats and Jeans Riders. And I'm Cake. And we out. Peace.